yes you do you alone deserve our praise oh you alone deserve the honor and we lift you high Yahweh Yahweh we lift you
his favor be upon you and the thousand generations and your family and your children and the children and the children may his presence go before you and behind you and besides you all around you and within you his will Beloved, wherever you are, I'd like you to stand upon your feet and begin to praise, begin to speak in the language of the Spirit right now. Just open up your mouth wherever you are and begin to pray. Begin to speak right now in the language of the Spirit. The Bible says, and ye beloved, building up yourself in your most holy faith, pray in the language of the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit as you lift up your voice right now. You need faith to receive the word of God that is coming tonight. And as you lift up your voice, stir up some power of faith within you. Le beneke tene brandu watana braha le baka parada brandu watimi niapa. For the Bible says, "He that speaketh in an unknown tongues, he speaketh not unto man, but in the spirit. How be it? In the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. As you are speaking and praying in the language of the spirit, you are uncovering mysteries. You are discovering wells. You are pouring forth prophetic tongues. Kabatu mani katana braha re baka palu watene ketana." Unto you is given uh, uh, the grace and the ability to know the mysteries of the kingdom, uh, but unto them it is not given. Uh, and today, as you lift up your voice uh, and pray in the language of the Spirit, wherever you are, don't be limited. Uh, whether you are in your bedroom, in your hall, uh, in the office, uh, you are watching me in the car, in an Uber, wherever you are, don't let your atmosphere stop you. Uh, just turn it right now into a prayer room. Kabatimi kapalu wasikita. Re pa kapa lua tene breke pa Raba di manu watana bra Re ke bele ke tini manu watana For nothing happens until the spirit of God moves The Bible says days to speak And multitude of but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration, the inspiration of the Almighty given it understanding. Today we are coming to hear the word of God, but the inspiration of the Almighty is what will give you understanding of the word. And as you speak in the language of the spirit right now, as you stir up your spirit right now, I declare over your life that let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened right now to perceive the mysteries, the keys of the kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the awesome time we're about to have in your presence. We thank you for those that have joined us online. We thank you for a powerful time. We thank you for EWC. We thank you for the prophet of God. We thank you for West Coast Campus. We thank you for the family. We thank you for friends. Above all, we thank you for your presence that is here with us. Speak, O oh God, and let your people be enlightened, for your word is light. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, beloved. I'd like to welcome you to our midweek service. 
here at EWC West Coast Campus, just go on right ahead, share that link with a friend, invite somebody to be part of this awesome time we're about to have. God has led us to put this out there on social media so that others will get the word, others will get the revelation that we are talking about today. Just a simple word and then we'll zoom into prayer. I want us to spend some time in prayer. It is about controlling your atmosphere, controlling your atmosphere and reading from the book of Joshua chapter 10 from verse 12 to 14. Joshua chapter 10, open your Bibles with me, Joshua chapter 10 from verse 12 to 14. The Bible says, then speak Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is it not written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of the heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day and there was no day my god and there was no day like that before it or after it that the lord hearkened unto the voice of a man for the lord fought for israel somebody that is your prophetic word and i want you to take let's take that part again the last verse say ah and there was no day <laughs> like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man for the Lord fought for Israel. I declare over somebody's life that the Lord will fight for you. Hey, the Lord will fight for you this day and there will be no day like this. You will know that this is your day of answered prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us understand in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 tells us that the race is not to the swift. 9-11. Uh, 9-11, yeah. The battle, not to the strong. Uh, but, but it says it's time and chance that happens to them all. So it tells us right there about the importance of times and seasons. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 tells us that to every, to everything there is a season and there is a time to every purpose under the sun. So right there it tells us that there are times and seasons in everything that we do. Eh? And those that, 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 that know the times and the seasons, the operations of the times and the seasons, and take advantage of them are those, are those that go ahead. The Bible says that the race is for those that know the times and seasons. So the Bible also explains and go further to buttress this point in the book of Chronicles, First Chronicles, when it talks about the children of Issachar and says that they were men of understanding, not just understanding of books or understanding of finances or understanding of anything, but they knew the times and seasons. They knew what Israel ought to do and what they ought not to do. Uh, when you know that it is rainy season and you know the start of the rainy season, Season and you plant your crops you know it's cocoa season you go for cocoa and you know it's mango season you go for mango you get a good harvest but when you are when the crop is not in season and you come with ignorance and you plant no matter the fertilizer no matter the input you will not get a good output for your inputs to to what to give you returns for your investment of labor of time of energy of prayer of money to give you good returns you also need apart from all those resources is to have a clear understanding of the time and the season that you are in it is not every time and every season that is good for anything hallelujah so that being established, the Bible says that their, their brethren, the, the men of Issachar had advantage over their brethren because they were people of understanding of the times. Hallelujah. Tell somebody it is a matter of time. It is a matter of time because it, 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 when, you, when, you, when you don't have an understanding of times and seasons, you get frustrated as a believer. Uh, as a believer, when you don't, get, you don't get that clear thing that it may be your neighbor's time and your time is tomorrow you can get frustrated you can get envious you can get bombarded by all sort of thoughts 
it is only a matter of time hallelujah uh, like today I, I, I was blessed to I, I, I just go see my, my, my friend get married connecting and I knew that it was his time I got married uh, uh, some eight years ago by the grace of God and eight years seemed to, have, to be a long time but eight years after my friend got married because it was his time I declare over somebody listening to me that, that you have been faithful in that which is another man that you have been waiting for God to show up he makes all all things beautiful in his time. I speak and declare over your life that your time and your season is coming. Uh, that in his time you will show up for you. Uh, when your time is up, not a second later, not a second more, God is going to show up. Uh, for he caused his son to come down, uh, not before time, not behind time, but in the fullness of time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When you read the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, I like the verse, 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 verse 4. He said, there is a time to weep and a time to laugh. There is a time to mourn and a time to dance. Hallelujah. Somebody that has been weeping, I came to tell you that the time is about to change in your favor. The time is about to change in your favor. You that have been weeping, uh, you are about to switch into a season of laughter. Hallelujah. And a time to mourn. You'll be mourning. You'll be sorrowing. You'll be laughing outwardly. But when you go into your inner chambers, you go into mourning and weeping and you are lonely and you are down. I came to speak over your life. That the one that turns our mourning into dancing, my God, is going to work it out in your life. Hallelujah. But the Bible makes us understand that there are certain things that dictate time and seasons. Yes, times and seasons don't just happen. There are certain things that usher or usher in a particular time and a particular season. And in the Bible where we read Joshua was in the middle of a confrontation. Joshua was enjoying a particular season. Joshua was in the middle of a battle but the battle was going his way and life is a battle. Life is a battle. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But Joshua was in a battle and it was a battle which he was winning. And many of us, we have been in battles and situations where we find ourselves winning. But that win was about to be cut short. That season of joy was about to be short-lived. That season season of joy, Joshua stood and realized that he had to do something in order to extend his season of celebration, in order to prolong, in order to extend that joy that was happening in his life because he had been fighting and it looked as if the fight was about to end. The trouble was about to end but something wanted to interfere with the breakthrough and with the blessing and with the victory that was coming to Joshua. And Joshua stood and realized that it was the element of time. Tell somebody the element of time. Because Bible says God is the one that created time. So when you are fighting time, time is something you don't fight. Time is something you don't fight. You do not fight time. Somebody say, just do as the watch does. Don't fight it. Don't, 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 don't even do. Just do as it does. Just keep moving. Just keep working. Just keep working and keep up with the time. Don't fight time. So Joshua just realized that the time was about to end and the season of victory was about to be short-lived. Being a spiritual man, Joshua said, mm, I know what is going on. I know something is going on because Joshua went back into the book of Genesis. I'm sure when, when Moses was writing the book of Genesis, Joshua was there. Either Moses was dictating it and Joshua was the one writing. I, I, I can sense Joshua writing Genesis chapter 1. And Genesis chapter 1, uh, there was a spiritual thing that went on there. And Joshua said, mm, I perceive something wants to interfere with my blessing. In Genesis, open your Bible with me to Genesis chapter 1. Come on, for all of a sudden Joshua left the battle, left everything, left the business, left the marriage, left the contract, left every waging and back and forth and said, I know why this thing looks like it's going down. I know why this thing that was looking good looks as if it is about to end. I know why this marriage that was looking so fruitful, so promising looks as if it is about to be short-lived. I know why this 
business opportunity uh, that looked like it was going to be a turnaround for me. Uh, looks like it's going to go that I know why 2020, uh, although it was a year of harvest, uh, looks as if it is going to end on a sad note. Joshua said, uh, I remember that when I was writing Genesis, uh, according to the dictates, uh, Genesis uh, chapter 1 from verse 15, uh, chapter 1 uh, from verse 15, the Bible makes us understand uh, that God created two lights. He created two lights. Uh, and he created the greater light uh, to rule the day and what? The lesser light uh, to rule the night. Uh, he created the sun to rule the day uh, and the moon to rule the night. Uh, and Joshua immediately perceived uh, uh, that weeping may endure for the night, uh, but joy comes in the morning. Uh, as a spiritual man, he already perceived uh, that in this battle, uh, it might turn into weeping uh, if I don't stop that moon uh, because the moon's assignment is to control the night. Uh, he said the greater light to rule during the day uh, uh, and the day is what comes with my blessing. Uh, the day is what comes with my victory. Uh, I may be fighting but during the day uh, it is a time of joy. Uh, I may be fighting. I may be a back and a forth uh, but during the day once the sun is over my head uh, uh, once that glory is over my head, uh, once that light is over my head. I may be fighting, but I'm winning. It may be a wrestle, but I'm winning. We are in a battle, but I sense victory. And I came to prophesy over somebody's life that 2020 we are fighting. 2020, it looks like we are in a battle, but we are winning. For we are winning. For the Son of Righteousness is rising over your life. The Lord is a sun and a shield. The Lord is your sun and a shield. And so long as the Lord remains over your life, your battle will end in victory. Your battle will end in victory. We are fighting, but my father says we are winning. Tell somebody I'm winning. I'm winning. Put it in the chat there. Say I am winning. Tweet it out there and say I am winning. So long as the sun remained. Joshua being a spiritual man. Joshua being a spiritual man said, mm, it will go well. But all of a sudden, he sensed that the moon was trying to interfere. Hey, darkness was trying to interfere. And many of us, as I speak to you, a cloud of darkness is looking to encroach into that beauty, into that beautiful relationship. A cloud of darkness is seeking to encroach into your marriage, into your life. Something that looked good. Something that looked promising. A cloud of darkness is inching his way, uh, gradually creeping uh, into your door, uh, knocking on your door. The devil is a liar. Uh, hey, the devil is a liar. Uh, you need to be spiritual. Uh, and like the children of Isaac, uh, Joshua says uh, hey, that his glory, uh, his victory was about to be cut short. Uh, that it was only a matter of time uh, that somebody was going to throw sand uh, and mess up his party. Uh, but I came to speak unto somebody uh, that we are here to dictate uh, the others of the day and the others of the night uh, and command into pain uh, that no pain uh, that no power of heaven uh, or of hell can stop uh, and interfere with our blessing uh, that this year will end uh, on the note of a testimony uh, that your victory is secured uh, that your glory is secured uh, that your favor is secured uh, that your blessing is secured uh, will you put your hands together uh, and say secured the devil is a liar Kabalua Sikatana Ra. Hey, Luke chapter 22, verse 53. Luke 22, verse 53. Even Jesus Christ told the people, the disciples were wondering why Jesus was not shaking himself off. And Jesus gave a revelation. Jesus gave a revelation. Luke chapter 22, for verse, verse 53. Luke 22, verse 53. He said, have you come out? Reading from verse 52. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the captains of the temple and the elders who had come to him. Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubber? When I was with you daily, daily in the temple, you did not try to seize me. But this is your 
hour and the power of darkness. There is a time when darkness reigns. When darkness comes, when the moon comes, when it is night, it is the hour of the enemy. It is the hour for every wickedness. The Bible says that those that sleep, they sleep in the night. Those that drink, they drink in the night. The night is the time for every wicked work. The night is the time for every destructive force. The night is the time for terror. The night is the time. He said there are terrors of the night and there are pestilence that walk in darkness. And therefore, when you allow the night seasons in your life to prolong, when you allow the night seasons of your life to interfere with your day, Jesus said, I was with you. And during that day, you could not attack me. During that day, you could not fight me. During that day, your weapons were useless. But the wickedness of the enemy that has attacked your family, that has attacked your marriage, that has attacked your business, is only, is only able to do so because the season over your life is a nice season. But today, by the word of the Lord, we came with fire in our bellies to speak to the elements and declare a change. Let there be a change from darkness to light. Let there be a change from night to day. For weeping may endure for the night, but joy, but joy, but joy. There is a time to weep and a time to joy. When the night comes, you will weep. But when you change and command the sun to stand and your moon to stay, your weeping will turn around. And I declare a turn around for somebody. I declare your days is turning. Your 2020 is turning. It is turning from day. It is turning from night to day. It is turning from darkness to light. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. now. My God, I'm not going to do any more reading. I'm just going to preach from my spirit. Joshua said. Joshua was like, my God. I sense something going on. Joshua said, hmm. He said, enough. I sense something go on. And you need to sense things like Joshua. Otherwise, Joshua was, was fighting, will be fighting, will be fighting, will be fighting. It was one against five. One person against five kings. And life is very unfair. And most of you, you are in a battle for your life and it looks as if it's very unfair. The 2020 has been an unfair year. Ah, the battles you have fought, my God. Little you, small you. You wonder, hey, who am I? Whom, whom, whom am I? Whom am I? That I am struggling. Ah, I'm fighting. How old I am? Ah, who is little me? David considered, he said, my God, what is man that thou art mindful of you? Who is man that even heaven and hell have taken an interest in your case. God is interested in your case. The devil is interested in your case. Your family members are interested in your case. And they will not let you go. Unfair battle. And unfair as it may be, Joshua was fighting it. As he was fighting and was winning, he knew that something had to change. He dropped his weapons. He dropped his weapons. The physicality of the battle was over. It was time to switch to the spirit. He had a sword, but he said, no, this is not a sword matter. Hey, he had a degree, but he said, this is not a degree matter. He had gone for counseling, but he said, this is not a counseling matter. He had gone for all the things. He had money, but he said, this is not a money matter. Money cannot stop darkness. The only thing that has the power to stop darkness is light. And light is the word of the Lord. For the Bible says, and darkness covered the face of the deep. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And Joshua, after writing that, as Moses dictated, knew that the only way to stop darkness was to declare light, was to speak a word, was to prophesy. And today, I need somebody to be stirred up and speak to the darkness in your life that stands still all darkness. Don't move. You are proceeding no further. 
out of my life, out of my children's life, out of my business, out of my church, out of my ministry, out of my health, and the darkness that has encroached in your business, your life, your affairs, your 2020, by the voice of the Lord, let that darkness be a cast. Joshua said, I understood that reading from the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1. From verse 1, I was reading and I was writing when Moses was dictated. And I realized the Bible said the evening and the morning were the first day. But it wasn't until the fourth day that God created the sun and the moon. That means that the word of God can create night and can create day. It means that the initial morning and night that we were talking about was not a movement of sun and moon. It was the voice of God. So if the voice of God can change morning into night, can change morning into night and night into morning, then it has power hey, to command the sun to stand still because before the sun came into being, there was a voice. Before the moon came into being, there was a voice uh, that was already uttering, uh, that was already commanding, uh, that was already decreeing uh, how things should be. Uh, the devil is a liar, uh, and the ruler of darkness, uh, anything that dictates uh, the affairs of darkness in your life uh, by the voice of Yeshua, uh, Hamashiach will declare, uh, Let that wickedness uh, be arrested. Uh, my God. And Joshua said. If the voice of God was before the sun, if the voice of God was before the moon, then the voice of God has power to arrest them. So the moon was moving. The sun was moving. The sun was moving out. And the moon was coming in. And some of you good things are living your life. And bad things are getting ready to come. If they have not already come. <laughs> some of you, your season of goodness is running out. Hey, you are, you, are, you are actually living on borrowed time. You are enjoying borrowed money. That devil is a liar. Some favor is about to leave. And you can sense it. You can feel it. Things are not the same. They are not the way you used to be. You cannot sit still with this. Joshua said, <laughs> I have a solution for this. Tell somebody there is a solution. <laughs> hey, Joshua said there is a solution. <laughs> and the Bible says, <laughs> Joshua turned from the song. He said, then spake Joshua to the Lord. In that day, speaking to the Lord means what? Prayer. Tell somebody prayer, prayer. is a solution. He said, then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said, in the sight of all Israel, my God, today is your day of deliverance. Joshua prayed and that day was his day of deliverance. I declare by your prayers, today will be your day of deliverance. It doesn't matter the day that I've gathered against you. Ah, your day of prayer is your day of deliverance. He said, and Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day, not the next day, not the next month, not the next week, but in that same day. Day, when the Lord, when the Lord, when means time, when it was time for the Lord to deliver them. And today I declare and prophesy over somebody that by your prayer, deliverance is coming to you. You are being delivered financially, physically, emotionally, in your health, in your business. Deliverance has come your way. Will you put your hands together? Say yes. And Joshua spoke to the Lord, Kabana Bradaba. In the day when the Lord delivered up Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still. My God, let me give you this revelation and quickly we go. Bible says that and Joshua prayed. But he said, Joshua prayed to, he said, and Joshua spoke to God. But in his speaking to God, he was not addressing God, he was addressing the situation. He said, and Joshua speak to the son. He speak to God, but he says, son, 
Stand thou still and moon do move. There are some of the prayers that you don't even need to talk to God too much because God has already given Joshua said, God has already given me the voice. The way to defeat and arrest the thing is here. So, what I need to do is to address the situation and to command, hey, this one go, this one come, hey, this one go, this one come, sickness leave, health come, indebtedness leave, riches come, hey, poverty leave. Wealth kama, hey, e kapa suki panda kapa, hey, parua kapa. You have been talking to God for so long a time, and God has given you a power, and it is time that you address the elements and the situation in your life in prayer. Not only do we talk to God, but sometimes in prayer we must speak to the mountain, we must speak to the rivers, we must speak to the fire, we must speak to the the waters we must speak to the elements and the bible says joshua prayed but this time not to god he spoke to the sun and commanded the sun and commanded the moon and tonight by the voice of the lord you are going to speak to everything in your life you are going to speak to every element in your life and you are going to command it what must go will go and what must come will come the blessing will come the favor will come the beauty will come the marriage will come the wealth will come it is coming it is coming by your prayer it is coming will you put your hands together and say be released what did the sun and the moon represent tell somebody the rulers the bible says that the sun, the greater light, was to rule the day. And the lesser light, the moon, was to rule the night. So Joshua, by his prayer, was addressing the rulers. Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness. So Joshua was saying moon, but in saying moon, he was addressing the rulers of darkness that were coming to fight and cast short his victory. That were coming to destroy the battle that he was winning. Somebody you are winning, but something came to interfere with your win. There was a power. There was a contention. There was something. All of a sudden, an arrow was fired and it came from the ruler. It says an arrow from the ruler. Any ruler of darkness, any personality that commands darkness, anything that brings darkness into your life, as you lift up your voice, let that thing say be arrested. The rulers. Because once you allow the ruler to come, he comes with all of sort of things. The darkness was coming with all sort of things. Tonight, are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? The Bible says the Lord is a sun and a shield. So as he said, God stay here, it means that he wanted the presence of God to remain. And once the presence of God was there, everything good was going to come. Once the presence of God was there, it doesn't matter how many bones the enemy had. It doesn't matter how many weapons they did not have. For some trust in horses and others trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of the Lord. But the season was changing and Joshua said, I got the grace. I got the power to change my season. To either prolong it or to extend it or to declare that it remains. And today, I don't know which phase you might be in. Are you in a phase that you are enjoying? Then it is time for you to extend it and prolong it because darkness wants to come in. Are you in a phase of darkness? Then it is time for you to cut it short and declare that the sun and the day will come. Are you in a season of weeping and mourning? It is time for you to turn it into dancing for weeping. May, my God, I like the Bible. The Bible didn't say that weeping cometh in the night. It said may. It means may even means that it is not a certainty. It is not set in stone. It is a may. It is a possibility. But we can even turn that possibility. But it says that as for mourning, it comes with joy. Automatically joy. 
joy comes with the morning. When the sun is around, your morning comes. When the sun is around, your healing comes. Where automatically, 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 your blessing is released. Your joy is released. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Say in the name of Jesus. My God, I can't feel you say in the name of Jesus. Say by prayers, say by fire, we declare right now by the word of the Lord that conquered the darkness at the beginning. We declare by that same voice, we declare let every activity of darkness right now be arrested, 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 be arrested. Joshua said, even God could not do any work in darkness. Who am I? Who am I? Even God, before he could do anything, before he could create the world out of nothing, before he could make something out of nothing, God still needed light. Who am I? In the darkness, I can't work. In the darkness, I can't win. Tell somebody, we can't win in darkness. It is impossible for us to win in darkness. We only win in light. And Joshua said, I remember what I was writing. I remember what Moses said. That before God came to do things on the seed, he commanded light. He commanded light for light bets. Creativity. Your creativity is shut up when there is no light. The wickedness of the enemy against the African continent is its ability to bring darkness, to shut up the creativity of our young of our people so when the west is being creative they are manufacturing they are producing they are working things they are coming up with new ideas darkness has clouded our minds we cannot operate we cannot work for even our god needed light to be creative who are you so our assignment is to deal with the darkness and immediately you will see the ideas that will start pop popping up. You see the way our children will start discovering things. You see the way our creative industry will blossom. You see the way things, technology, and things will start coming up. It is because of the darkness. Lift up your voice. In the ruler of darkness, in your family, in your hometown, in your mother's house, in your father's house, hey, around your life, anything responsible for darkness. As you lift up your voice, you are going to speak to that thing. You are going to declare, as Joshua said, he says, stay. He said, don't cross over. Not my house, not my business, not my family. I draw this line. And as for this year, you cannot come in. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say by divine authority. In the name of Jesus. By the blood. I draw a line. And declare right now. No ruler of darkness. No power that controls darkness. Will be able to access my life. My family. My marriage. My business. My children. I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost let the voice of the Lord arrest in the ruler of darkness lift up your voice right now and pray and Joshua spoke unto God and said sun stand still and moon there is a moon that is encroaching on your life. There is a ruler of darkness that is seeking to cut short your life, to cut short your blessing. But tonight, as you clap your hands, as you stamp your feet, wherever you are, ah, by the power, in the name of Jesus, by the voice of the Lord, in the beginning, God, in the beginning, God, God did it the same way at 
the beginning. Uh, and God spoke, uh, let there be light. Uh, and the darkness gave way. Uh, and there was light. Uh, and darkness bowed. Uh, tonight as you lift up your voice. Uh, as you clap your hands. Uh, in the darkness. Uh, in the moon. Uh, in the typology uh, of a moon. Uh, in your life. Uh, in the personality. Uh, in the friend. Uh, in the colleague. Uh, that comes into your life. Uh, only to bring pain. Uh, only to bring shame. Uh, only to bring mourning. Uh, only to bring destruction. Uh, as you clap your hands. Uh, as you stamp your feet. Uh, let them be arrested. Uh, 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 get aggressive and pray. Uh, the Bible says. Uh, and Joshua was a man of war. Uh, and Joshua knew how to fight. Uh, and Joshua had won battles before. But this time around. Uh, he says. Uh, that it was not a time. Uh, to do it with your might. Uh, it was not a time. Uh, to do it with your strength. Uh, and as he lifted up his voice. Uh, he dropped his bow. Uh, he dropped his sword. Uh, and cried out in prayer. Uh, and said. Uh, Son. Uh, stand still. Uh, and moon. Uh, proceed no further. Uh, you cannot come. Uh, our battle is on. Uh, we are winning. Uh, you can't stop our win. Uh, you can't stop our victory. Uh, you cannot stop us. Uh, from ending. Uh, 2020. Uh, favored. Uh, blessed. Uh, wealthy. Uh, clap your hands and pray. Akubani mani bata. Araba na baya na bana brea na ba. Alebele ke telebrano atana bra na ba. Ela baya na bana brea na ba. Ela baya na bana brea na ba. Ela bana 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 bana brea na ba. Ala katana brea na ba lua na ba. Alibani bana te. Akuna mini ata. Arapante mene kata. Araba ya na bana bra. Clap your hands and pray. Wherever you are, find a place. Akusiki pa. Leko se bene ke pa. Erapa na pa ya na pa. Enough is enough. You will not be a victim of time. You will not be a victim of time. But you will win. You will be a victor. Because you know the time and the season. And how to manipulate. And orchestrate. And dictate. And prophesy. And decree. The change of times. The change of seasons. A pandima. A pele penua. A luatine. A lakuatina. Le palapa. Sunani ate. Paliapampa. A tentele beleva. A ruatana bayanapa. A rapana bayanapa. A reke patanapa. A luatina nanapa. In the name of. The devil is a liar. Joshua. He says, son, son, I like where you are. I like where things are going. I like the move. There are some of you, oh, you, you, you can see some good things happening in your life. And if you like it, Joshua was telling us that it is not a matter of watching. Because if you watch it, it will crash. You have to maintain it. Ha, Kabadua. That's somebody, the maintenance of good things is very necessary. You see, ah, Africa, our disease is, is, is the maintenance thing. We can get it, but to maintain it is the problem. We can start and win, but the maintenance of the win is the problem. So Joshua saw the battle started in the morning was winning. He said, I like the way the sun is going. Stay there. You are going to command. Katu Nabra. Suki Patakata. Hey, Kabaduata. Anything that is going well that you that you like that you love, and the relationship that is going well, and the project that seems to be moving in the right direction, anything that you now you can see that you worked it out, oh my God, it is a matter of prayer. Only by prayer can you maintain. Hey, can you maintain? Can you hold on to good? Because good doesn't last forever unless held on by the power of prayer. He said, son, stand still upon Gibeon. Gibeon was a mountain. The mountain. Your son must remain on the top. He said, and moon, go down in the valley. Ha, katuna mana. See, time is fast when I wanted to break this thing down further. But the devil is a liar. Your son must be up. Your moon must be down. Hey, 
the sun is God, God must be exalted for the devil to be down. The moon is the ruler of darkness, the things we fight against. Kabalua Sire. Hey, Kabata Bati Bikapa. Moon down in the valley. Son, good times are maintained by prayer. Joshua was winning. I said, This is not a degree matter. This is not a beauty matter. Young lady, I know you are beautiful. But you cannot maintain that marriage with your beauty. Hey, you cannot maintain it. Young man, I know you got the cash. But life is not maintained by cash. Money answered all things. Go and be talking about, is it every answer that is correct? Is it every answer that is correct? There are some people that were fast to answer questions in class. When you ask them, hey, what, what is two plus two? Raise your hand. Five. Money answered everything, but the Bible didn't say whether the answer is correct or not. So money has something to say about everything. Money can say something about everything. It can try. It will always attempt. Have you seen the rich? When they are sick and the, and the condition is hopeless, they will still try. They will still waste all the money and try and attempt. But some of the things is only by the power of God. So money can try. It will try everything. It will try. It will try to get you married, but it will not be the right one. It is only by prayer. It is not a money matter. It's not a beauty matter. It's not a degree matter. That unemployment issue is not a degree matter. That job that you have, if you know how many people have their eyes on it, how many rulers of darkness are inching close to that seat of yours, you will know that it is not a matter of observing. If you sit down, it's only a matter of time. You'll be cleared off. But like Joshua, you must be spiritual. I said, I, I like this thing to maintain my seats, to maintain my victory, to maintain this advancement, to maintain the way things are going, the way things are turning, the way I can sense something good is coming. It will not come. It will not stand. It will not stay unless I speak by prayer. Tonight, I'm talking to somebody that you are in the middle of something good. You are in the middle of doing something powerful. You are in the middle of doing something. I sense somebody is in the middle. Something is coming up. But previously, the enemy found a way to deny you of that thing. And that same thing, that same thing, that same cycle wants to repeat itself. But this time around, ah, as you speak to the elements, Psalms Stand still and moon stay down. The devil is a liar. Hey, Kapaduata, lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. I can't feel you saying the name of Jesus. Say by prayers. I declare in the good, in the perfect thing that the Lord has commanded in my life. The Bible declares the blessing of the Lord. It make it rich without sorrow. Therefore, the blessing that the Lord has released for me this year, this month, by prayer, I declare by the word of the Lord that Joshua spoke and commanded the son to stand. I declare let my blessing stand right now. Any attempt to drown, destroy, break down my blessing, my family, my marriage, my business. As I lift up my voice by the word of the Lord, I declare it shall not stand by prayer. As I lift up my voice and I clap my hands, let my blessing, my business, my marriage, my fruit right now stand clap your hands and pray kapalapa shabane beleke telebra e kapana brana balala brana ba alo atena nana brana ba ala baya tabana brana ba your blessing will not stand ah it only stands by prayer your business will not stand it only stands by prayer your ministry will not stand it only stands by prayer hey kapani mana a lebele ke tele brana pa, a rapa da ba ya na ba na pa, a rebele ke pele kata na pa, a rapa da ba ya da ba na pa, a rebe da ba da ba da ba na pa pa, o se ke tele brana ke pa, for only in prayer did the man of God decree and declare the sun stands still, my victory is coming, I am winning and I can't stop, I cannot be stopped. 
You cannot be stopped. You will not be stopped. Your marriage will not break down. Your education will not collapse. Your children will not be scattered. They will stand. The Bible says, having done all, stand. Having done all, you got to stand. In the name of Kalamaluata. So we command an extension of every good period, of every good season. bad times, the bad seasons be cut short in the name of Jesus. Sun stand thou still upon Gibeon and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. Oh, maybe next week I'll break down what Gibeon and Ajalon stand for. So he said, the sun stood still and the sun stood still. It will obey. Tell somebody who will be. It is the voice of God. From the beginning, that was what it was. The voice of God was commanding things before the moon was created. And you always obey what is ahead of you. You always obey. The lesser will always bow to the greater. The voice of God and the moon, who is greater? The voice of God and the sun, who is greater? The voice of God, my God. But that same voice that created them, everything knows its master. Everything knows what made it. Even a dog knows its master. So if it is even as stubborn as a dog, by the voice of the Lord, he said, and the sun had no choice, but it stood still. And the moon had no choice, and he stayed away. And today I prophesy over your life that by your prayer, Hey, your day of joy, your season of joy, your season of blessing, your season of favor, your season of abundance, your season of wealth has come to stay. It has come to stay. It has come to stay. It has come to stay. Come to stay. As the sun stands still over your life, let the blessing remain. In the name of Jesus. See, and the moon had no choice. And the moon stayed. The state means it stayed away. Some wickedness will stay out of your life this way. Some demon that has been plaguing your life, they will run for cover. They will stay away from your life. Do you know that it didn't mean that the moon was not showing up in it elsewhere. The moon, some people were, were, were with the moon. But over Joshua's head, Katu Dakata, Others may suffer it, hey, but not your house, but not your marriage, but not this church, but not empowerment worship center, not the Western campus, not our pastor, not our prophet. It may happen to others. A thousand may fall on our side and ten thousand on our right hand, but it will not come now as for by the voice of the Lord, the moon will stay away. Every ruler of darkness says, stay away. stay away. Say, by the blood, I declare, by the voice of the blood, the voice of the Lord, I declare, let every darkness right now desiring to invade, intrude, and encroach my life. Stay away. 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 Come on, Abradaba. And the Bible says, Kaluata. And the moon, the ruler of darkness. Ha. If God is a sun and a shield, just simple element, you know who the moon is. And the moon had gone to try a man. And he said, I tried him, but there was a hedge. I, for, 
I fought, I went to his family, but there was a hedge. I went to his business, but there was a hedge. I went to his marriage, but there was a hedge. That hedge was prayer. That hedge was a voice that was always speaking. I declared the devil stayed away from Job by prayer. And by prayer, the devil will stay away from your family this December. Bad news. Any bearer of bad news. Any worker of bad news. Any power, celestial, terrestrial, marine, occultic, it will stay away from your life in the name of Jesus. Form a hedge to keep the devil away. Kamaluata. And the Bible says, <laughs> is it not written in the book of Joshua? Kamalua. It will be written. <laughs> hey, they will have a record of you. Your story, your story will be one for the history books. It will be one for the history books. Anyone that is able to change the times and seasons of their lives is one for the history book. Anyone that is able to switch from poverty to abundance is one for the history books. Anyone that switches from sudden barrenness to fruitfulness, uh, eight years of no child, and then in the tenth year, all of a sudden, you bear twins. It is one for the history books. I declare that your story, because you have commanded the change of times and seasons, is going to be one for the history books you are going to set a record your story will be told abroad it will shake the nations it will bring kings to their knees that will be your story that will be your story and somebody receiving it right now say that's my story oh put it out there put it just put it in the chat send it out there say that will be my story it says it's not written in the book of Joshua so the sun stood still in the midst of heaven kind of and he said not to go down about the whole day. Ha! Ah, and I like this verse. And there was no day like that before it or after it. Hiya kusata. A belekita. A memorable day. A day like never before. A day like them. I want you to stay on this prayer. If you want your day to be like that will be your story that will be your story and somebody receiving it right now say that's my story oh put it out there put it just put it in the chat send it out there say that will be my story it says it's not written in the book of joshua so the sun stood still in the midst of heaven kind of. and he said not to go down about the whole day ha ah, and i like this verse and there was no day like that before it or after it. Hiya kusata. A belekita. A memorable day. A day like never before. A day like them. I want you to stay on this prayer. If you want your day to be like no other day, an exceptional day. If you want to have an exceptional day, it doesn't come by just wishing it and willing it. Yes, I know that you have said goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. I know you woke up saying that this is the day the Lord has made. But you need to command it. You need to decree it. You need to change it. Ah, for they in the realms of the spirit, it's not about the sun and the, the, the moon. It's not about the rising of the sun and the setting of the same. It is about the spirit atmosphere for there was night and day way before the sun and the moon even came you see and there was no other day like that i want a memorable day the rest of the year from today 16th 17th to the 31st every day must be a memorable one and for it to be a memorable one the bible said it was by prayer it's not meant to be a good day but Joshua changed it that's somebody I'll change it I will change my day whether it's a bad day a day of bad news whatever I did whatever I, speak, I enter the day commanding and say ask for this day it will favor me hey the sun my sun will rise my sun will rise and every darkness will be arrested no bad news will enter your day and there was no day karma like that before and that the Lord hearkened to the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. I declare over your life that from the 16th to from the 17th, 
the 17th of December to the 31st the Lord will fight for you the Lord will fight for you Bible says that the Lord doesn't just fight for any man but fight for men that have the grace to declare and to command their day to change their night seasons into days I declare as you stay in prayer even to the end of the year may the Lord fight for you may the Lord fight your battles no matter how unfair they are one against three one against five ah that is not our concern for one shall put a thousand to flight and two shall put tens of thousands to fight so it doesn't matter how unfair your battle is for the Lord God will fight for you and if the Lord be for us who and what can be against you I declare that you have just entered into your day seasons your season of joy your season of harvest for you cannot harvest at night you need to harvest during the day it is a day that you can harvest if you harvest during the night you will waste your fruit and as you enter into the season where the Lord opens your eyes to all opportunities the day to all blessings where you can see clearly understand clearly discern clearly take advantage for time and chance happens to them all the race will be won the battle will be won riches will come bread will flow it is your season and it's your time in Jesus mighty name amen amen, amen. God bless you for tuning in